here we are. You, me, and this guy named Guybrush on this place called Millet Island. Our journey will be rough. We will have to dominate the sword fighting, the treasure hunting, and the robbery to finally become pirates. The secret. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> The Secret of Monkey Island is the first game in Monkey Island Saga. It was released on 1990 by the company LucasArts, created by Ron Gilbert and written and programmed by Gilbert, Tim Schaffer and Dave Grossman. On 2009, a remastered version of the game released, so we'll be talking about both versions of the game in this video. In the 90s, LucasArts was famous for developing many many awesome graphic adventure games also known as point-and-click adventures. This kind of games immerses you in an interactive narrative, making you explore and try to find a way to solve the puzzles to progress in the game. So, Monkey Island starts introducing the story as you play as Guybrush Threepwood, a young man that arrived to Malay Island wanting to become a pirate. You will talk with the pirate leaders about the three trials every aspiring pirate has to complete, and then we'll begin your journey dealing with more complex puzzles as you advance. Until the Chuck comes along and. <laughs> okay, what can I say about this game to make you play it? Monkey Island has a great narrative that combines humor with riddles, that will make you struggle for a while until you find a walkthrough or. So come into using the hints. Please don't do it. The fact I love the most is that the game makes you follow a crazy logical path that requires a mixture of your brain and your imagination to get along. How can you properly answer an insult in a sword fight without that? Truth is that Monkey Island achieved the fame it has because of the interactions you can make with the characters and all the weird stuff you can gather around to find solutions. This all sums up and it provides a rich environment to explore and laugh for hours. I don't think it's a one night stand game if you're a curious person. And also, it's cool and rewarding staying up a little longer trying to figure out by yourself how to get out of the sea and not drown yourself with your leg tied it up to a heavy rock idol. Or well, you can just sit in front of your computer seeing if Guybrush wants telling the truth about his special ability to hold his breath for 10 minutes. You have the power. Talking about the graphic department, it's incredibly good. The old 90s version has amazing pixel graphics that sometimes turn this, this, or this good that you might want to take many screenshots. Pressing F10, you can switch the gameplay and the visuals. I have mixed thoughts on the new graphics. In a way, the environment in this new version looks fine, and the fact that it's animated brings more life to the scene. I like that. I can handle that. But this... No, please. <laughs> The character's redesigns deform the core of the original approach and, for me, it's like they are different people. Sadly, they only put voices to the remastered version, so if you want to play with the original graphics, it will be pretty silent, unless the scene has music. I also have to add that in some parts of the game you might see cinematics. These are well planned because they help to develop the story and also they remain in the style the gameplay has. If you want to know about the controls, they are different from a version to the other one. The old version has a clickable menu to choose the action you want to do, or it also works with keyboard shortcuts. The new version works with keyboard shortcuts or scroll for selecting your action. You can choose which one you adapt better to and stick to it. Or you can avoid seeing Guybrush redesign and stick into the old version. Jokes aside, to conclude, I think this game started an incredible path for Gilbert. I tried Monkey Island old version for the first time when I was 12, and I have so many cool memories from it. It's amazing how a video game turning 32 years will have another part coming this year. And the fact that Ron Gilbert's studio 
terrible Toybox is the one in charge of this release, brings me so much hope. Monkey Island is known by many generations now, and if they continue working the way they did in the early stages with this saga, they can be known for many generations more. I hope you become a pirate soon, okay? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. I won't, I won't do that, boys, again. <laughs>